Eva Voce with Alena Vergova, and she will explain and give more detail uh, information and reflection on her extended essay. Welcome, Alena. I'm very happy to see you. And, Hello. Uh, hi. Uh, tell us a little bit more uh, about uh, how you decided to uh, actually um, uh, start on this topic. What was the most important thing that actually helped you uh, uh, determine that this was your topic, this was your film? I know it's one of your favorite films, right? Mm -hmm. okay, yeah. Tell us a little bit more about this. Um, so first, I wasn't sure what to do. Actually, um, my first thoughts were about uh, comparing uh, the original book uh, with the movie. But then I decided um, to uh, to the topic about love because it seems relevant to me nowadays. And um, there are many characters um, who helped the main character for his gum um, to uh, overcome all his difficulties in life. Uh, and I thought that this hasn't been done uh, since now. And I thought that it will be interesting for more people. Mm -hmm. It was an interesting and I would say an extensive and uh, detailed information and of course love mm -hmm. is a universal topic everybody yeah. loves uh not only to explore it to experience it uh and uh to observe how uh it's looked from different perspectives and yeah. uh the film forest gump is one of them you mentioned about uh the book and the film what uh was reason that in the end you decided to focus on um uh, on the I'm movie. discussing in the movie, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I've read the book several times. Also, uh, I've watched the movie. And I thought that there, uh, the video is made with many more details about if, each of the characters. Um, at first, I was worried about how I would be able to write in detail about each of them. But after watching the movie more than... I don't know, five times, um, things settled down on their own. You actually watched the movie several times and read the book before yeah. you have to, had to do the extended essay, yeah. which means that you're interested in the topic in itself. Mm -hmm. um, um, tell me something about the, the character in itself, because you're focused not only the character, but different issues and problems that he had to uh, uh, overcome. Uh, during this period, uh, what was diff interesting about the period that you've been um, writing about? Um, why did you decide uh, to focus on, of course, different stereotypes, love as a form and an instrument of overcoming? But tell me about the stereotypes and specifically about this period that uh, you have written about. Um, the first was the stereotypes in Alabama in the 1960s. Um, I decided to write about two of them, uh, which are uh, main events uh, happened in this time, and especially shown in the movie. Uh, the first one is the stereotype of the different child, um, because the main character, Forrest Gump, um, was with lower IQ, and he wasn't allowed to enter classes. Um, the he was uh, below the average level of intelligence, mm -hmm. and um, he he showed the, a variety of disabilities. Um, he had uh, intellectual and physical ones, and uh, another um, uh, thing that. Um, as I said about mm -hmm. the topic. Um, he jumped over the difficulties and one of the main uh, from him is that he was born with strong legs but with crooked spine. Uh, he wasn't able to walk. And the second stereotype was um, the racial stereotype. 
uh, of African Americans um, yeah. regarding to racial discrimination. Uh, it showed in the movie uh, the racial hatred and segregation in the 1960s because the black Americans were rejected and neglected by the society. Yeah, this, uh, mm -hmm. this so is a topic. Yeah, this is a topic you feel very strongly about, um, mm -hmm. and uh, he tackled those problems with love, right? Yeah, uh, and of course, who are the people that were crucial and gave him this, uh, uh, of course, love at first before he uh, learned that that is the way to handle obstacles and problems, of course. Well, um, the biggest role that plays in Forrest Gump's life is his mother. Um, actually, thanks to her, he truly understands the meaning of love from the very beginning. Uh, as I said, he was forced to wear leg braces and um, she taught him that uh, he has to do his best with what God gave him and mm -hmm. that Nobody uh, can tell that he's different. She's, he is just special. Um, How, it's he, yeah, I'm sorry. Um, his mother prepared him for all the struggles in life, basically. Um, and due to the fact that uh, his mother raised him alone, uh, she became the most important person in his life. Very good. Uh, thank you for sharing this information. Ali, how did this um, essay actually, did it somehow change you a little bit? I mean, looking a little bit more in depth in those issues, which yes, are, uh, yeah, how did it change you or uh, way of thinking probably? Can you give us a little bit of information in terms um, of experience and inner experience, not only, yep. yeah. Um, before actually I started writing this essay, I, I was just looking at the movie and I thought, yeah, good movie, yeah, many things happened, but I didn't uh, realize about these events that happened actually, as I said, about stereotypes in America in the 1960s. I didn't actually pay attention to any of those e events. And due to the essay, um, when I uh, decided to write about Forrest Gump and uh, all the of the stuff about it, um, I had to um, watch many uh, documentaries and um, search information in different sites and uh, read books about uh, um, events that happened in Alabama in the 1960s, so that. I could write uh, real information. Mm -hmm. um, that is great. Uh, because of the essay, uh, I, yeah. as a whole, I learned many more things about what happened during this period. Mm -hmm. Because I didn't have, um, I didn't know. I just watched the movie, and as I said, I thought it's great. But yeah, that is great. This raises awareness. And of course, uh, you can share more information, uh, seeing that uh, there are some stereotyping and intercultural issues, uh, interesting issues that are being brought up in the mm -hmm. essay. And you have put a very strong and good emphasis uh, on this. Um, in terms of the process of writing it, um, what were the difficulties uh, in the process of planning, for example, the, the beginning, mm -hmm. and after that, uh, in the process of developing the essay, did you encounter, for example, starting of the planning, the topic, was it difficult to decide? Well, you mentioned a couple of things about the topic in itself, but uh, in terms of timing your work and uh, having a decision uh, and um, developing uh, the essay as well. What were the difficulties um, that you encountered? Firstly, um, when I decided to write about Forrest Gump, I wasn't sure what exactly to be. Um, then I thought about many um, topics in it, like friendship and many more, and I decided to write on love. 
uh, while writing my essay, I went through many difficulties. One day I wrote about um, 2,000 words, which it turns out I wrote completely wrong because um, I was just retelling the story and I didn't uh, tell facts or about um, events happened during this period. So I had to delete everything and start over. And all sorts of questions went through my head about the film itself. As I said, it is my favorite. Um, but in the end, I came to the final decision um, to remove major theme from the um, integrity of work. And after I settled to write on love, of course, I had to introduce the characters who created and from there, my research question was born, which covers the whole topic. Um, mm -hmm. And yeah, I think that the difficulties was only at first, I thought they would be at first, uh, but then when I finally made the whole essay, I read it and I realized there is so much to be, um, to be changed. Mm -hmm. In terms of uh, if you have to start over again, for example, um, and in terms of, for example, uh, also managing your time, how well do you think you did uh, in terms of planning, management, and what things would you change for now or give your um, students advice? Or maybe um, if you have to plan, uh, uh, doing, uh, again, research or writing an extensive uh, uh, written work, what are the things that you would change in your behavior and patterns? Um, I'm pretty sure that I'll change my planning because, as I said, um, I was, when uh, I did my plan, I was just putting some stuff, some stuff from the movie uh, like the characters and some information about them. Then um, I uh, realized that I will be um, I will be writing about in details for each one of them. And this is information that um, who they are and stuff like this are not important. The important stuff is how they help the main character. Mm -hmm. um, and then I was sure that I was just gonna um, write about the team love and stuff like that. But then I realized that I had to do many more things um, to put the main events happened during the 1960s because uh, uh, Forrest is living in Alabama and I had to observe everything according to Alabama in the 1960s. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. If you encounter, for example, people uh, that uh, at some point um, uh, act upon other people uh, from the different uh, race disrespectfully or um, would practice some kind of uh, prejudice behavior and discriminatory behavior, um, the fact that you've seen this movie, and not only this, of course, uh, uh, you're very sensitive to the topic, and that's why you, of course, have decided to um, uh, write about it. How would you approach those kind of people? What would you tell them? Or what, how would you act upon trying to change their perspective and point of view uh, upon people from different race? Um, and while I was watching the movie after I decided what my essay would be on, um, I started, as I said, to pay attention about the black Americans that they were rejected and neglected by the society. And I still can't understand this. They had no right to vote and didn't have any choice because white people always have the upper hand. And, um, the history in the movie, it has shown that one of the most important events in um, and human rights fight against segregation started there. Um, 
I don't know what I, I'm gonna tell them. I just don't understand this because I think everyone should mm -hmm. have the same right. Um, an example of this uh, is, for example, um, Rosa Parks um, that uh, in the 1960s in America, uh, white people had the privilege to uh, whatever, if you're on a bus, for example, they should sit before the black Americans because they're white. And mm -hmm. Rosa Parks uh, refused to give her a uh, seat to a black American and uh, she was arrested. And I still can't understand this thing because, as I said, I think that everyone should be equal. Maybe giving an illustration, the fact that you've learned so many uh, historical events and facts could eventually uh, make them more sensitive and rethink their um, uh, attitudes and um, uh, um, towards uh, people, of course, uh, as you said, uh, all people are equal. Um, if you have to, if somebody, um, what are the things that you would recommend? And in a couple of words, tell, tell us why do you think this extensive essay uh, uh, was a good experience for you? Um, and of course, were there things that you thought that you doubted that you will be able to complete? What kind of doubts did you uh, cross your mind at a certain point? Or if you didn't have any doubts, uh, what were the feeling and emotions that went through you uh, while uh, not only um, writing your essay, but doing the research, the whole process? I I can surely say that uh, the first doubt is that I thought that, okay, I'll just write this essay. Uh, I love Forrest Gump and it will be easy. But then, as I said, I had many more details to put in my essay. And um, with what I've written so far, I want to show how a person cannot help himself in life. Uh, and quite rarely, um, in principle, a person manages to overcome some difficulties in his life. Because in the real life, you need a very strong and real force to push you. Mm -hmm. And um, so, would you consider this being a, a challenge? This uh, essay? Yep, absolutely. Yeah, it was a a great challenge because, as I said, I learned many things from it. Not about the movie, but the history of this period. Mm -hmm. This is important. If, uh, for example, I'm a student uh, and I'm uh, wondering, um, should I challenge myself or shouldn't I challenge myself? Why do you think it's important people to challenge themselves? Because, what does this give you? Mm -hmm. Because by challenging, you may do things that you never even thought you would make. Um, because, for example, according to my essay, I didn't even thought that I was going to learn so much things. And uh, I didn't thought that I was going to pay attention to the key events happened during this time and even the Vietnam War, because it was actually really interesting to me. And can, Yeah. Can yeah. you tell me... Um, in this story, was Forrest Gump challenged? And can you give me some illustrations of this, these challenges? Uh, challenge according to what? Um, well, he was challenged to run and he had crutches, for example, right? Yeah, during yeah. his whole life he was challenged. As yeah. you said, that he was challenged to run, to run because it was the only way that he could escape the bully. Um, for example, when he went to be the veteran of the Vietnam War, he was challenged again because mm -hmm. it could threaten his life. Uh, yeah, um, let's think of another thing. Um, he was challenged his whole life because when his mother died, he was alone because his best friend wasn't there anymore. She was, um, 
traveling around the world and he was challenged to be alone um, during his whole life his mother was by his side and now he's alone and his best friend died too uh, would you like us uh, to finish with one of uh, the the quotes? I think you have it. What his mother said was about the box. Life, life yeah. is like a box of chocolate. You never know what you're gonna get. Uh, if you have to paraphrase it, why do you think it's this is so important? I think you have it. Uh, yes. Uh, uh, why is it so important to the, have this perspective on life? Because. As I said in the beginning, she was the one who prepared him for all the difficulties in life. And he has always expected the unexpected. Yep. It's a cliche, but it's so true. Yeah. No matter what kind of difficulties and obstacles we have, we have to be able to, of course, uh, accept them. And it really depends on your attitude, right? Difficulties yeah. won't disappear just because uh, uh, we want to. It's our attitude and perspective of life. Yeah. Um, yes. Uh, one or two words that you would like to share us uh, uh, in terms of a conclusion about um, um, your essay, uh, your work, uh, uh, the the. The, the Forrest Gump in itself in one or two words that you would like to end up or as wrap a, it up. Yep, mm -hmm. as a conclusion, I want to say that it was hard for me to write this essay, but it was absolutely worth it. Let's finish with those uh, words then. Ali, thank you so much. It was thank a, you too. enjoyed working with you. Okay. Yep, thank you.